Hey guys, Corey here with the Art Archaeologist channel. Welcome back and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Uh, please click subscribe below and hit the bell notification for all the fun stuff we've got coming up this summer and beyond. So today I'm beginning a new um, series on my channel called Treasure Hunting Tuesdays and I brought it up in part two of the Robin McLennan's Design Team May project so if you watch that you you're up to speed on that and then I'm going to be doing a lot of really fun art excavations on this channel and I went pretty deeply into that too so if you want more information on that please check that out so um I've been doing some eco dyeing kits this uh, spring because I freeze my leaves so and I'm trying to use them all up now because they've been in my freezer all season. So um, I think I'll just go ahead and play some music and we'll see what we've got here. Just to let you know too, I used Rit Denim Blue dye for this and I only put I did a regular bath of water and vinegar and then I've got all my rusty bits down below and I did um, probably 20% of the denim blue and I also did something different on this kit. I injected the denim blue down into the pages. Normally what I do is as I stack all these I wet the pages with alum. I always use an alum mix and you can get alum in the grocery store in the seasoning section. It's only a couple bucks for a can of it and I take the whole can and I mix it with hot water enough to fill a large dollar store squirt bottle and then I just keep using that until it runs out so it's very affordable. The purpose of alum is to bind the dyes and the um, all the colors from your botanicals to your paper okay and then when I boil it I get it to a real low boil on me on the upper end of medium high and I only do that for about a half hour and then once it starts the rolling boil I turn it down to warm or low um, just one setting up from your lowest setting on your stove and I do two burners and your roasting pans get rusted over time so always look at the bottom of your pan and make sure that everything's looking clear and solid before you you know because I have to replace these pans probably every 20 batches 15 batches I do you just want to be careful of that and then I fill, I cover the paper with um, water and then I put, oh, anywhere from one and a half to two cups of vinegar in here. And then I, like I said, I did the denim blue writ dye on this one. And I'll grab the bottle after this segment just to show you, but I don't want to get it right now because I'm kind of messy. Um, then I just put 20, poured 20% 20 into the bath. So, and then, um, I'm not sure I mentioned it when you turn it down when you turn your stove down I just let these sit for about two hours on the second to the lowest setting on my stove okay and I open the windows in my house and that is my process I'm gonna go ahead and play some music and let's see what we have here
Okay, so here's this kit all dry, and I'm going to go ahead and name this kit. I've named it Midnight Blue. So it's in my Etsy shop now, and here's what I used, this Rit Denim Blue here, the um, liquid. I like the liquid better just because I don't have to, you know, um, powdered dyes and pigments and all those things like that can be really dangerous to your lungs. So I like the pre-liquefied, but I've done kits where I use the powder and you get some cool granulating going on. So you have options, but I prefer the liquid myself. So let's go ahead and flip through this. This is a smaller little kit here, and I'm just gonna play a little music and flip through it real quick. So here we go. So here's this kit and it's available now and the um, link for this kit is in the description box below. So uh, I'm really excited to be doing this treasure hunting Tuesdays now. So uh, there's that. And then I wanted to show you a couple of treasure hunting Tuesdays videos that are going to be coming up soon. I've got this... Um, I have, thanks to Robin McClendon, she explained to me a new method for coffee staining. And here's just some copy paper, printer paper pages I did. And this coffee batch I used is pre, was pretty strong, so I think I'm going to use a little bit well, I've already got a new batch going, but I think I'm going to start lightening it up as time goes on. But I still love them. They're really cool. And then I did a bunch of index cards. So one of the very soon upcoming Treasure Hunting Tuesdays is going to be uh, coffee staining inspired by Robin McClendon. So look forward to that. If you haven't already subscribed, I'd love it if you did, and then you'll be alerted for all the stuff I've got coming up. Now, these here are um, Soul Rain Art prints. These are some of Rachel's prints. And what I did was I took these outside the other day, and I sprayed them with a fixative because they're inkjet prints, and I'm going to be doing a project with these. And I got too close and messed this up. So this can happen if you spray your papers. And like I said, I heard another method on my channel. Someone commented on, you can take an inkjet like this and just take your jelly plate, do a really light coat of matte medium, and then put your 
um, inkjet on them and that'll seal it up too. So I just haven't wanted to take the time to do that, but I may need to. I really wish I had these in laser print, but everything's still closed. Hopefully I can get that done soon. So I may print some of those up before I do this, but I'm doing a project with these prints here. And aren't they just amazing? She does some really beautiful work. Very beautiful. I love this. And this. So look forward to that. This will be another Treasure Hunting Tuesday um, video here. Project video. And I'm really excited about this project I've got coming up. These, this is, um, Vicky, these are Vicki Ross printables on top, and I'm mixing hers with mine. So I'm going to flip through real quick. Now this is, I've got her shop and Robin's shop linked below. I will have it linked below for this video. Each video I'm going to have, whoever stuff I'm using, I'll have their shop linked below so you can go right to it, okay? Um, not necessarily in this one, but this is a printable of Vicki Ross's and then th these are from her backgrounds kit and I printed up these little card size three and a half by five card size because I'm going to be doing a specific project with these and I went ahead and made a couple copies of this so that's the same. And then these two are my faves, so I did bigger copies of those. And then I have these two prints from that same background kit of Vicky's as well for this project I'm doing. All of these are going to be, this little pile here is going to be a project unto itself, okay? And then remember back in March's design team project. Um, if you didn't catch that, I made a journal, a junk journal, out of Robin's prints and my prints, and I accidentally put this page in my printer front ways because I wanted to print my eco die on the back of this, so I put it in the wrong way, and my eco die printed over the top of this. So, <laughs> Here's how it looks originally, and then here's how it looks with the eco die printed on top. And I want to use these some of this one. I just wanted to show you the difference of what you can do. If you want to add color to a printable, just pick your what you want to print and put this in your printer front ways and print right over top. So, oh my gosh, what a happy mistake that turned out to be. So I'm not going to use this one. I just wanted to show you the difference, but I'm going to use some of this here. And then I'm going to use some of my print pulls along with um, Robin's and Vicky's. And this is my Woodland Magic kit. And for this video, I'll link it all. My printer was running out of ink here and so I've got two good and two kind of weird though those can be used for another project and then I'm doing um, some of my leaf prints from kit one this is leaf prints kit one and these all these kits are meant to be torn up and used as elements and then I've got a little bit from my leaf prints kit four, and I may or may not use this. I don't know yet. And then I do want to use these little prints. This is from my Autumn Splendor kit. So lots of fun stuff coming up for Treasure Hunting Tuesday. This is a big print that I printed a long time ago and haven't used yet. So I may use some of it. I may tear it up. And it may not work for this project, but it's going to be a really exciting project. So all of these are going to be so fun and full of techniques and tricks for you to use. So thanks for joining me on my very first Treasure Hunting Tuesday, and I will see you soon. Have a great day.